Hello, welcome back again to NX tutorial. So in this tutorial, I still uh, give a tutorial about NX motion simulation. Now in here, as you can see, I already inside the NX uh, motion simulation environment, and I also already prepare this model. So this model is a scanner. We have in here the glass which is the document scanner you can put in here and also in here we have the lens housing it will drive to the screw the screw will be uh, rotated by this uh, this motor mechanism and also this this scanner will move to this this uh, screw and this uh, rail so you can see in here this is the model now in here I also already make a marking I just call the mark glass end so it will marking this glass ending uh, this is glass the origin and also the lens in here uh, the moving uh, parts that will travel is the mark lens so the glass end glass origin is a static reference for the lens so let's beginning the first thing I should do is to create uh, the sensor so I want to explain a, a little bit so this sensor will measure the distance between the lens and the mark origin and the mark end so for example if I want to create a sensor a, a displacement sensor in the x direction in here is a relative reference when I click in here the lens and the glass end it means it will create a measurement a distance between the glance and the glass end so I will rename this is glass end apply now in here this is the sensor that uh, I already just made now in here I will create the second sensor glass origin okay the measurement is from the lens to the origin marking okay this is the two sensor okay the next I will do is to modify a little bit in order to activate all this PM DC motor and the signal chart in order to activate this one I go in here go to the environment actually uh, here right click go to environment and include this one please remember that uh, I do a dynamics uh, simulation also okay and then in here this is kind of same uh, same name like this so it's just only modification to click this one and then click OK after I click OK it will automatically activate those two options so in here I will insert the the motor the PMDC motor and uh, the movement of this motor will be regulated by the signal chart okay I will insert the PMDC motor now in here it's just only one option without a rotor uh, you can see in here the NX automatically insert all these values S this is the default value but for this simulation I will insert my own value so for your uh, trial also you can insert your own uh, value for this one okay this the voltage is 6 volt the voltage constant I will insert 0 0.0024 the inductance about 0 0.001 so it's very uh, sensitive the inductance and the resistance is about 1.5 ohm the initial current is zero so it means that the initial condition there's no electricity going to this uh, motor so it the lens in here will not move so I will give the name in here motor uh, test one so in here when I click OK it will create a uh, motors in here 
Now, in order to regulate this movement, I must also create this signal chart. The signal chart I will choosing a closed loop with signal value 0 0.5 volt. So this voltage is the working voltage for this motor to to starting to rotate, and then I also create in here a new event, a signal sequence. I will create first the is a glass N. So this is a condition when the lens start to move and it reaching the the glass N the lens should be in reverse um, a reverse movement so in here I will create in here less than the threshold is 12 the signal is minus 1 so let me explain a little bit the glass N it means that when the event condition the sensor uh, sense that between the lens and the glass have minimum distance 12 millimeters then it will automatically reverse the voltage and automatically reverse the the motor rotation and it will reverse the moving uh, direction of this lens so this is the condition for, for the glass end and I will create also glass origin glass origin I will create greater than the threshold 3 still delay now zero signal zero so this glass origin is the condition then when the lens moving near the origin mark when it reach three millimeters the motor automatically off so in here there's no a signal no voltage it means that the motor is off okay now I have two a condition I will say this is a signal test one. I click OK. Now you can see after I click OK, I have this one. Now, in order to drive this motor, I need to insert in here what is called a driver. Now, in here, the driving uh, joint is in this one. So maybe I will see here this one as you can see now I select the motor in here we have just only one because because we just only create one the list just only give one choice the signal also in here I say configuration one configuration okay so it means that you can create multiple configuration using the motor and the signal also when I click OK in here you can see we have the configuration one okay now we create a solution in order to make this simulation go to a solution so in here we have the solution is the normal run the analysis type is the control uh, dynamics not kinematic or dynamic or static but we using control dynamics because we using this one the time is four second is enough the step is 400 so in here it means I have to change uh, the maximum step size because 4 divided by 400 is 0 0.001 so you should be a uh, consistent between this okay now the gravity direction also in here I click OK so it's ready to solve now let's check the animation what is the animation gonna be looks like okay now you can see in here this is the initial condition when it start the lens 
is on the working action it scan the document above this glass when it reach 12 millimeters the distance between this and this it will automatically reverse and when it reach the distance about 3 millimeters it will automatically stop so that is the rule and the scenario for this now in here also you can make uh, some kind of a sensor for example the sensor you go to XY result view go to XY result okay you can see in here we will insert the sensor so this is actually just only additional information if you want to find about this the glass end you can see the displacement X get gap object it will insert automatically in here glass N and the glass origin you can hear here it's an X okay so and then let's store this one to create new uh, grapping click ok also this one I store in the same file ok go to xy function manager you can see the we have FU file the grapping that I already created before I choose this one too plot ok ok this one this is the displacement of the, of the sensor you can see there's a in here if I go to this one zoom in this one okay so this is the position when the sensor going to reverse direction and also in here when the sensor is stop moving yes this one okay let's show with the simulation also okay so when I go to result okay so uh, that's it i hope it's gonna be useful for you uh, see you on the next video thank you for watching